And I'm like, bro, why wouldn't you take the area that you've won, your body, your lifestyle, your mindset, take that into business, take that in into, into personal development, take that into your relationships, take that into your finances. Yeah, it's going to be hard, but you've won. Now let's win in other areas too. All right, three, two, one, let's get it. Welcome to another edition of What's Your Problem, the podcast. I'm your host, Marsh Bice. And here on this podcast, we're going to help you overcome adversity, uncertainty, and complacency. It's the three problems we all face in life. Doesn't matter how rich or how not so rich you are. You got these problems, adversity, uncertainty, and complacency. And here, we're going to show you how to handle the adversity, embrace uncertainty, and never settle again. And today, I want to talk about something that may cause you to like clench your teeth a little bit, and that's your health. See, when you can conquer your health, you can unlock the potential to win in every other area of your life. When you can get yourself back in shape. Now you're back in the driver's seat because you've learned how to master your emotions. You're steering your mindset and you've risen above all the challenges that once seem insurmountable. It's like the hardest thing in the world is to push past the condemnation and all the, I mean, you sit there and you wonder like, man, where did I go wrong? How, how did I get to this point? How did I let myself go? Why didn't anybody say anything? You know, all these things just bang in your mind when you're out of shape, when you got these, you know, these, these man titties <laughs> and this gut. And you're like, oh, bro, that's like the hardest thing in the world. And I bring this up because a close friend of mine, he transformed his life right in front of my eyes. It's the coolest thing ever because he would come into my office initially talking about that he needed to get in shape and he grabbed his stomach. He was like, yeah, I need to. Cause he saw my transformation and he went from just kind of grabbing his stomach saying he needed to, to like a little over 60 days later. It's, it's remarkable, man. He's buying slim fit sh shirts. His muscles are popping out and like every day, man, he comes into my office and he's just like, he went from saying he needed to, to coming in my office. He had started and then, man, I slipped up and I didn't work out today or I ate too much last night or whatever the case may be. And now he comes in like, he can't wait till I come in and he comes roaring in there. And he's like, bro, I just smashed a workout this morning. And I smashed one last night when I left home. And it's the best thing to watch that because now that's the lead domino that affects every other area of his life in a positive way. And so now that he's gotten his life back and created a lifestyle that supports that life, now he's talking about the next challenge, and that's quitting vaping. And I could see the discouragement in his eyes or the doubt, I should say. It wasn't discouragement, but it's more so doubt. And I could see that in his eyes. And I said, bro, look, you've already won. Do you realize how hard it was to push past the condemnation and your emotions and, and, and all of that and then to show back up when you've slipped up? And also keep showing up, even though the results don't seem to be even like nothing's happening. You know how hard that is? And then now you reach this tipping point. You're like, bro, I'm having trouble keeping the weight on now because he's reached that tipping point. And it's like everything he does, the weight just melts off of him. It's win after win after win. And he's got so much confidence built up. And I told him, you got to leverage that confidence. That empowerment that where you've won in your, in your health, and now you, you apply that to the vaping. And do this, you can apply this to any area of your life. Whatever it is, when you win your health, because that's the lead domino, when you win that and how hard that is, 
Now you take that win, that confidence, that empowerment. Dude, that's like a million-dollar feeling. And now you apply it to other areas of your life, too. Because with new challenges, it's almost like you're picking a fight, a productive fight. And so when you win your health, you're picking a fight with the next thing. You're like, wait, here's another area of darkness. i got to get that shit out of here. Now you've got standards. Now you're performing with a purpose. And you're waking up every single day. And not only are you maintaining your lifestyle and building on top of that, now you look around and you're like, who else wants some of this shit? And you're doing that with your life. And so you walk into your workplace with extreme confidence. You begin to analyze your relationships, whether it be close relationships or even friendships. And you look at those, you're like, wait a minute, some things I'm just not going to tolerate anymore. That's some things I'm just, I'm not going to associate with toxic people anymore because you, you've got a standard and you set that gold standard. And so now your health being the gold standard, now you look at it and you're like, I got to go back to school. I, I got to get a better job. I got to shore up my skills. I got to get better because I deserve more. I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to be broke check to check anymore not going to happen. As a matter of fact, there's some creative things I want to start doing. I'm going to start doing those. See how this stuff just, it just bleeds onto one another. See, it, it bled in a bad way when you were fat and out of shape. It bled into other areas of comfort, complacency, toxic people, just bullshit. And now you've got this standard. Now you're, you're saying, oh no, this ain't going to work. Not for me. It could work for you, but see, it's a good bleed because now these positive areas, it's a compound effect, man. These things just, they start oozing into other areas of your life too. This is how people win. They take one thing. It's not a bunch of things. They take the one thing, which would be your health, and you get that going and you win that, and then you pick the next fight in your life the next challenge, and you say, bro, I, f I fought the toughest thing there was, which was my emotions, these feelings of, of discouragement, looking at myself naked in the mirror. It's like, oh, my God, you fought past all of that. When you, when you didn't want to get up, you got up. When you slipped up, you showed back up. And, and you kept going even though it looked like it was working for everybody else and wasn't working for you. Dude, you know how empowering that is? You are winning. Now you take that thing on to other stuff. And because you've done hard shit in your life, this becomes a new narrative. Instead of this doubt and condemnation, the way you think, the way you see things, the way you act, it's totally different. And now it's not enough to just keep it into your health. Because I've seen people do that. I've seen some people like get in phenomenal shape, yet other areas of their life are siloed off. And it's just like decrepit. And it doesn't have to be. I'm like, bro, why wouldn't you take the area that you've won, your body, your lifestyle, your mindset, take that into business, take that in into, into personal development. Take that into your relationships. Take that into your finances. Yeah, it's going to be hard. But you've won. Now let's win in other areas too. That's what I want for you. And if you're out of shape right now, you can want a whole bunch of money and all that. Great. Whatever. Get yourself right first. Because there's no sense in having a bunch of money and ha then having to take that money and try to buy your health back, which ain't going to happen. Die early because you want to amass all this money. I had a buddy of mine called me the other day. His brother passed away, had millions, didn't enjoy it, always worked, passed away young. I don't want that for you. You don't deserve that. You deserve to tackle the first thing in your life. Now, here's, here's where, I'll, where I'll flip the script a little bit. If you're winning in other areas of your life, now, same effect. 
You take how you've won. Remind yourself where you've come from. I mean, you had no refrigerator, no stove, a rent house. And now you got plenty of money in the bank. You got a nice house. Got a great family. Now leverage it. Get your fucking health back. You've already won. See how this can work in all kinds of different areas? I do put a pin on your health because your health is your lead domino. You take care of your health. You can, you can handle anything. You've got a great leverage on that. But if you're not in good health, and dude, I'm not talking about you don't have to be this chiseled person. Be great. But whatever health is for you, slim and trim, ideal weight, proportionate with everything, not doughy, right? Not eating a bunch of bullshit, fried foods, all that stuff. Cut out excessive drinking, all that. Well, have a drink or two, fine. You get the point. When you can take where you've won in other areas of your life, now pull that over. And it's hard, man. It's hard because you've established winning in other areas and you can continue to win because you know how to do that almost without thinking. And then when you're trying to win in other areas of your life, that's hard. And that's why most people stay siloed in the areas that they're already winning because they know how to win and kind of keep it going. And it's hard to really abandon that and go into other areas, other darknesses of their life. And like, there's going to be a lot of work. It's hard, man. You don't want to do it again, but you have to because you need a fulfilled life, a 360 life where everything around you, man, prospers. That's what I want for you. Wealth is spiritual, mental, physical, financial, relational. That's the wealth, man. It's all kind of different areas. So putting a pin on this if nothing's really working for you start with your health if other areas are working for you and you're winning i mean you're killing the game now pull that over and leverage that confidence you get your health back because health is wealth all right let's get out of here keep it simple keep it moving never settle stay tough thanks for sharing and subscribing peace